We're now going to complete Malaguena in this lesson. If you recall, we left off here. Playing this part twice. It then goes on. section repeats four times. One more time to there. Now let's take a look at the left hand and continue learning. Now we had our fingers on G sharp and E for this part, which we played twice. Now this is fairly easy to do. Just lift your two fingers off and move them this way down a string. So your first finger is on C and your middle finger is on A. So it looks like exactly the same chord shape as you had here. So you move across like that and the thumb plays the third string, once again answered by the open E with either your first or middle finger. And then your thumb plays the second string the open E again, like that. Now, if you play this part too fast while you're learning, there'll be a slight weight while you jump the gap to the new chord shape. So I would play at a reasonable pace that you're comfortable with so you get the timing right when you jump across. Now we'll continue on. We've hit the notes A with the thumb, C with the thumb, and now we lift off the first finger and hit the same second string with the thumb and play open B. And don't forget to play the first string after every thumb note. So we've got A, C, open B, and we'll go on one more note, A, on the third string, which we're still holding down. So we've kept that down the whole time. Once again, A, C, lift off, open B, and then A. Now we'll just take a quick look at the right hand. Now the right hand plays the thumb, third string, finger, C, open B, which is on the second string. So you hit the same string twice there, and then finally the third string on A. That's where we got to. The notes were A, C, open B, A. Now let's go back to the left hand and continue in this section. From the beginning of this section, just to refresh your memory, I'll play from here twice, jump the gap, and that's where we left off. Now, after the A, followed by the open E string, you lift your middle finger off now and play open G, or the third string. So from our A and C shape, we go open. Now, the next note is possibly the hardest part of the song as far as getting the timing goes. We go over to the fourth string and press down on F, which is the third fret. Now, you could use your third finger, which looks more appropriate in terms of overall guitar fingering down here, but I'm going to recommend that you use your middle finger because when you hit that one with your thumb and you hit the open E in response, remember the alternation between the thumb and the first finger on the uh, first string here. The middle finger is in position to slide back and form the first chord again for the whole tune to start cycling around. So we have A, C, B, A, G, F, move back. Like that, that's how we get from the F, the open E, back to this first chord shape where everything goes around again. What you may want to do 
after you've practiced going from A, C, B, A, G, F, back here, you may find that there's quite a significant pausing from here when you go back to there, because you have to not only move the middle finger back, but you've also got to put your first finger on G sharp more or less at the same time or the same instant so that you can play uninterrupted without stopping the flow of the music. You may want to start with F and just hit F with your thumb, open E and move back. Try not to chop that note off. Don't be in too much of a rush to go back to E on the fourth string second fret. Otherwise you may end up with this that kind of choppy sound that we're trying to avoid all the time. So you may want to set up a slow tempo about this speed. Hit the air, wait, and then move and quickly add your first finger and repeat again. Now you can hear that this tempo is rather slow, but it will get the overall speed of this section consistent. And eventually, when you can switch nice and smoothly, uninterrupted like that, of course, then you can work on speeding this part up, which does make it sound rather lively and exciting. And of course, I have no problem with you using your third finger there either, if you wish to. Good luck with that. We'll go on now and we'll learn the chords. The next part we're going to learn sounds like this. What you're going to need is an E chord with the left hand and your right hand you're going to be using your finger or two fingers of your right hand either your first finger and middle or just your first finger in a strum pattern like this. Now because I have nails I get quite a nice crisp tone. If you don't have nails don't worry about it. You could also use your thumb if you want to like that. See which works for you and what feels better. Okay, let's take a close look now at where the left hand goes. As I mentioned earlier, we start with an E chord shape, and after we've played the rhythm once, with the right hand, we move up a fret. We get a kind of a funny sounding F chord there on account of the E's ringing with it. So we have an E chord, a certain type of an F chord, and then we slide up two frets where we get a partial G chord, back to F, and then repeat. Let's take a look at the right hand to learn the rhythm. Now for our right hand, we could use our index finger and brush a plain down stroke, just brush across the strings like that. Or we could use a very dramatic effect, which is used in flamenco called rasquada, which is, and it's a quick brushing of the little finger, the third finger, the middle and the first in sequence like that. You start at the top of the strings, that is on the sixth string, which as we know is called the bottom string, but you start up here and we do a, a selective brushing, little finger, middle, finally first. It takes a bit of practice, but don't worry if you can't do that. Now, let's continue with the rhythm. We do a down stroke and bring our hand back up right away. Just go straight down, straight back up, and then we do a very fast flick of the wrist with a down, up, down. So we go down, up, down, up, down. Again. And then we do one last down stroke. So 
the rhythm for the first bar with the E chord is down, down, up, down, down in that timing. And then we move up to the F chord, which is the E shape, slide it along a little bit, upper fret, and we do the same rhythm. But I should point out that it's good to change right away and without waiting. So don't go and then wait and then go to the next chord and the next rhythm. Go like this. Straight into it like that. Okay, let's start from the beginning of the section again. We could do E. conclude, after you finish playing the rhythm, you then go back to the intro, then you play this section again four times, I'll only play it once, and you end with your middle finger hitting the E. So your thumb hits that note, you don't play the first string anymore. One more time, I'll play that part. This is my fourth time around, we'll pretend stop and then to end the song just play the two outside strings which are E's. Good luck with that, it's a lovely little tune.